psychological maturity level in order to say that. Exactly. Right. Like I would not say that to a six year old learning Suzuki Book One. Right. I, would, I would definitely say that to someone who is definitely playing Mozart. Like I, I have a student in my head who's playing Mozart Violin Concerto Number Three, G Major, and like that's not something that I would do. Right. This is the framework. Like go off of that framework and see if you can push the limits a little bit. Exactly. Because otherwise, if we if we I don't want to treat my students like they're in some kind of factory. Exactly. Actually, it's funny because I had this conversation with a friend yesterday. I was meeting him up. Um, we both attended the same violin school. He's not a vi- you know, not violinist anymore, like full time like I am. But we talked about sometimes we are in this bubble where we can be in some sort of factory where you, this is the repertoire list that you're expected to play. And then this is the like these are the skills that you will learn through this repertoire. And then I'm going to, sh- you know, go off and then, you know, you figure it out. <laughs> right, right. Which, um, which 